Hi everybody, I'm Rick for DailyDodge.com, joined by Abby from Hometown Pharmacy, and we're going to be talking now about protein. And you know, we get this drilled in our head constantly when we go to the gym or we hang out with people about how we got to take lean proteins, lean proteins, yeah. we got to eat lean proteins. And obviously that's really, really important, but there are a lot of people that will add protein into their diet via a supplement, via a powder or something, or a, shake. a yeah. shaker or whatever, yeah. using protein bars that people are making. Yeah. How does a person know, first of all, what protein is good protein, and second of all, how much you should have? Yeah. So, so there are guidelines in terms of like how many grams of protein per kilogram of body weight you have. Um, and we and we can kind of calculate that for people if people want it. I tend to have a more kind of intuitive way of eating because I just think it's better than trying to like calculate right. everything. Um, I tend to say, you know, if you're eating a palm size of protein, so generally think of that as meat, eggs, that sort of thing, um, with each meal, you're getting enough protein. Okay. And now if you think of it, like the size of your palm, right? So you think of this huge guy, they're gonna have a bigger hand, they're gonna need more protein, right? right? Um, my hands aren't that big, I don't need as much protein. Now that's only, that's kind of a rough estimate, but generally speaking, that's enough for the average person who just wants to like be healthy and not lose muscle mass. Now, people like athletes or um, people who have sarcopenia who need to be building muscle, we can push it on the on the protein, you know, increase the protein a little bit more. Um, but generally speaking, um, if people eat meat, which obviously that's not everybody, if people eat meat, it's pretty easy to get enough protein right. without a supplement. Right, and, and I guess what I've always been told too is that people that push uh, huge amounts of protein, your body's only gonna store a certain amount of it and the rest of it's gonna be expelled anyways. Yeah, and I mean, if you're pushing the protein dose really high, like multiple protein shakes a day and multiple servings of meat, it can actually be harmful to your kidneys. So a high protein diet is harmful for your kidneys. Now, uh, you know, an a I like to say we want an adequate protein diet enough because, you know, protein actually is one of the most satiating, it's, it makes you feel the most full. So if you're trying to get healthy, lose weight, lose fat, um, not feel hungry all the time, protein is really important. You just don't want to gorge on protein and try to force extra protein in on shakes. Now I do want to say, you know, I, so I actually use a protein shake usually once a day or so, but it's because of my hectic, crazy, busy life, and the alternative would be like fast food or a bag of chips from Reach X grocery store, right. you know, something that's not good that I don't want to be eating. So when you think of a protein shake, you want to kind of think of like, what is the alternative? Is the alternative like a salad with uh, tuna and amazing veggies? Like you don't want to have a protein shake instead of that. Right. <laughs> but if the alternative is like grabbing some junk food or not eating at all or whatever, then it's probably better. And the protein shake that I drink, um, has like a, it's essentially a multivitamin and it's got fruits and veggies in it. Right. So it's more than just protein. Um, Is it okay? So what about types of protein? Yeah. There's whey protein. There's all these yeah. different proteins. What are what's the best? Ooh. So the best depends on what your goals are. So if you're wanting to build muscle, the so amino acids are all the things that make up protein. The amino acid profile of whey is best for building pro or oh. excuse me building muscle. Okay. Um, if you are, you know, an athlete, but you're more like not wanting to build muscle, but you're wanting to improve performance, like, you know, being able to jump higher, run faster, that sort of thing, you can do kind of a higher carb protein. So like oats or, um, rice, there's rice protein. Um, so for some of those people, that might be something because they really need that energy, that burst of energy, either just before or to replenish afterwards. Um, the one that I take is a pea protein, not because I particularly uh, think that pea protein is so great, but I like all of the other stuff that comes in it and it doesn't have any extra junk in it. So really it kind of depends on your needs, but also to me, one of the most important things with protein powders is what's the other stuff that's in it, right? right. So there's a lot of times sweeteners, so sugar, I've even seen some with high fructose corn sugar <laughs> in the protein get healthy you know, powder, that doesn't make, that makes no sense to me. Um, but there are most, a lot of them are trying to be like healthier. So they put sucralose in it. 
So there's an argument whether that's better or not than sugar, but we know that it affects our gut bacteria. Right, there and, you go again. Yeah, see, it's all back to the gut. And we know that it can still increase your blood sugar just by tasting sweet. So sucralose is not, you know, consequence free. Not to say that no one should ever have it, but you just have to think about it. And then a lot of them have fillers and preservatives and junk. Nasty and stuff. Essentially, stuff that you do not want or need in your body. And there are brands that don't have that. And so that's what I tend to recommend. One last thing about protein, going back to natural protein, I mean mm -hmm. like from meat. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that we do know is if you're going to be taking in a large amount of protein, especially if your body's not used to it, you need to take an awful lot of water in at the same time. Isn't that one of the, isn't that one of the biggest parts of the equations? Well, I would say that you need to be taking in a lot of water no matter what. But yes, it can help with the digestion um, of the of well of protein of everything because it helps to get all of the enzymes going. All you know, we need acid in our stomach. It helps to get all of that going. So it's yeah. Absolutely, water is important. And for somebody that is maybe a vegan, vegetarian person that's looking for protein, what's their best source going to be out on the natural market? If they're vegan or vegetarian, uh, vegetarians have it easy because they can do dairy and eggs. Oh, that's true. So that's, that's true. easy, right? right? So vegetarians, I don't even worry about. Vegans, it's a little tougher. Um, I generally recommend that vegans use a protein powder because it is hard to get enough. Right. Um, beans are one of the biggest sources. Um, Seeds and nuts have protein, um, but generally they're the people that need to do uh, a, a protein. Hemp is another one that they'll use a lot. So okay, so so there are options. And, but Absolutely, th and there are and there is an actual place for protein powder in a person's diet, depending on what they're trying to achieve. Absolutely, I mean it does, totally depends on what your goals are. And again, for the best results. Talk to a pharmacist yeah. because they're the people that are going to be able to help you get those results. Thanks Absolutely. again, Abby. Thank you. And that's going to wrap up this session on today's DailyDodge.com.